Uh, Minister uh, Nieman Hong, uh, you uh, just took on this ministerial uh, post as uh, Minister of Information and Communication, and before that you were successful CEO uh, for decades uh, in the telecommunication uh, business. So uh, I, you have the, the right background also for this uh, important uh, ministerial uh, position. Listening uh, to the two last days, listening to your uh, to the other uh, co-chairs here. Um, how ready is Vietnam for the 4IR? Yes. <laughs> and after a couple of years as you, you as minister, I guess you will be even more ready, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it should be ready. <laughs> it should be. <laughs> okay. So after the three days, a very in intensive discussion and the uh, meeting, I would share the, um, some of my thoughts or uh, takeaways, as you said. The first one is about smaller and smarter government. Every time when a new industrial revolution comes, new technology happen. The businesses and the society can do more. Can do more of the government's work so that the, the government can become smaller. And it's easier for a smaller government to become smart and faster for change. It's my first the, um, the thought. My second thought is about the um, so-called soft skins for the fourth industrial revolution. In the past, the technology only improving our life, our management. We enjoy technology and we didn't change much. But now, the fourth industrial revolution coming and the new technology changed the way we live and changed the way we manage, we govern. So we have to change, not only enjoy, and change our mindset. The technology can change very fast, but the people, the government, cannot change so fast. And this will be our biggest challenge. So what do we do? I think that the, um, we have to train people so that they can adapt to change. Not only technology training, education, but more about soft skins ready to change or lead the change. So I think that the fourth industrial revolution is more about mindset revolution. It's my, my thought. Thank you. Um, change not only uh, enjoy, uh, but we also have to change our mind uh, set, uh, you were saying, Minister. Um, but listening to um, ASEAN leaders, ministers and head of states and head of governments talking about the 4IR, I feel there is more like optimism and see the 4IR as an opportunity than as a threat. Um, why is that? Why? why? Because if, if you go to uh, some uh, summits and seminars in, in Europe, you, you feel uh, sometimes a little bit depressed 
when you, you listen to uh, 4IR. Uh, kills jobs and all this, but you know, uh, the jury is still out. Uh, all the three other industrial revolutions created more jobs and higher uh, life quality uh, for the world. So um, I don't think we should take for granted, quite the contrary, uh, that this fourth industrial revolution uh, will uh, not um, uh, create more jobs and opportunities. So what, what, why is the mindset um, different here, if I'm right, uh, in ASEAN uh, than many other places? I think that the, um, the every new revolution, industry and revolution, is more opportunity. It just depends on how we look at this new technology. And if we look back history, every revolution made our society, made our life better. No unemployment, even less unemployment. So, it's a historical experience. So we can believe that this time may be better. Thank you.